in the shadowy realms of myth and folklore, where the phases of the moon dance like secrets in the night, lies the captivating legend of the werewolf. A tale as ancient as time itself, the origins of the werewolf myth are as varied as the phases of the moon that influence these shape-shifting creatures. Some trace the curse of lycanthropy to the heart of ancient Greece, where a blasphemous act forever intertwined the name of Lycan with this affliction. In a horrifying offering to Zeus, Lycan served the flesh of a fellow human. In response, the vengeful god cursed Lycan, transforming him into the very first werewolf. Thus, the term, lycanthropy, was born, forever linking the condition with its tragic origins. Yet, Greece is not the sole cradle of lycanthropy. Norse mythology weaves its own thread into the tapestry of werewolf lore. Here, Fenrir, the son of Odin, assumed a wolf-like form that symbolized chaos and destruction. In this mythos, transformation into a wolf was often a consequence of divine punishment, or a malevolent curse. Central to the werewolf mythos is the moon's enigmatic influence. A force both feared and revered, it said that during the full moon, a werewolf's transformation is an inescapable destiny, unshackling their primal instincts and setting them loose upon the world. However, it's not only the full moon that holds sway over these shapeshifters. Each phase of the moon, from the silvery crescent to the shadow new moon, exerts its unique influence. Some cultures believe that the new moon awakened their most malevolent side, while others saw the waxing crescent as a time when werewolves could harness their powers for protection. Throughout history, Werewolves have taken on multifaceted identities in the tapestries of various cultures. In European folklore, they were often depicted as cursed souls, tormented by their affliction and seeking redemption. Their ultimate goal was to rid themselves of the lycanthropic curse, which could only be achieved through acts of purity and kindness. In stark contrast, other regions painted werewolves as malevolent creatures driven by an insatiable appetite for human flesh. These bloodthirsty beasts prowled the night, stalking prey beneath the baleful gaze of the moon. Their goals, if any, were solely driven by their ravenous hunger. The transformations themselves were described in vivid, haunting detail across numerous legends. Some accounts spoke of an agonizing process where bones cracked and flesh contorted as the human form gave way to the lupin. In other tales, the transformation was a swift, almost painless experience, akin to shedding a second skin. One of the most famous transformation stories hails from France, featuring Bisclavret, a nobleman cursed to become a wolf. His only path to regaining his human form was to retrieve his hidden clothing from a remote forest. This poignant tale emphasized themes of betrayal and loyalty, which were recurring motifs in the rich tapestry of werewolf folklore. A common thread in many werewolf legends was the belief that silver was the only weapon capable of killing these creatures. Silver bullets, blades, or amulets were seen as the key to their destruction. In some cases, it was believed that merely wounding a werewolf with silver could break the curse. The act of hunting werewolves became a treacherous pursuit, with groups of hunters known as wolfsmen embarking on perilous journeys to rid their villages of these beasts. Their stories were a blend of courage and tragedy, with tales of hunters becoming the very creatures they sought to destroy, a grim reminder of the fine line between heroism and monstrosity. As time marched forward, the werewolf evolved in the realm of fiction. From the iconic Lon Chaney Jr. and the Wolf Man to contemporary sagas like the Twilight series, werewolves continued to capture the fascination of storytellers and audiences alike. In modern portrayals, they often emerged as complex characters wrestling with their dual nature, caught between their human desires and their savage instincts. Themes of identity, self-control, and acceptance pervaded modern werewolf lore, 
making them more relatable and empathetic figures for a contemporary audience. But the werewolf legend did not confine itself to the realms of myth and fiction. Throughout history, there were those who believed they had encountered these creatures in the flesh, their tales shrouded in eerie mystique. Our journey takes us to the remote region of Gavardin, France, during the late 18th century. The tranquil countryside was thrown into disarray by a series of brutal attacks on villagers, primarily women and children. The attacker was described as a massive, wolf-like creature with reddish fur and a fearsome demeanor. As panic spread, the local populace was convinced that they faced a true werewolf. The creature's apparent immunity to bullets and its relentless savagery only fueled their terror. The authorities dispatched hunters to eradicate the menace, but it took several years before a skilled marksman named Jean Chastel managed to kill a large wolf-like beast. Some believe that the silver bullet used to slay it proved the creature's lycanthropic nature, while others attributed it to a particularly ferocious wolf. In the quaint town of Ansbach, Germany, in the late 17th century, a chilling event occurred that would etch the legend of the wolf of Ansbach into local folklore. A wolf, believed by the townsfolk to be a werewolf, began to terrorize the region. What made this case particularly intriguing was the claim that the wolf could imitate human speech. Witnesses reported that the creature spoke in a voice resembling that of a woman, pleading for food or uttering eerie incantations. This led many to believe that the wolf was, in fact, a human transformed into a wolf by malevolent forces. The town was gripped by fear until hunters eventually managed to kill the wolf, putting an end to the unsettling phenomenon. During the 17th century in Livonia, a region that encompassed parts of modern-day Estonia and Latvia, a series of trials in which hunts unfolded. What set these trials apart was the focus on individuals accused of being werewolves. Authorities believed that some people could transform into wolves through dark sorcery. The accused were subjected to gruesome interrogations and torture to extract confessions of lycanthropy. Some villagers genuinely believed they had encountered these shapeshifters, describing terrifying encounters in the woods. These trials cast a long, ominous shadow over the region, with countless lives lost in the name of eradicating werewolf activity. These historical accounts offer a glimpse into the depths of human fear and superstition. While modern science and rational thought have since dispelled the belief in werewolves, these stories endure as a testament to the enduring power of myth and mystery, lurking in the dark corners of our collective past. As we delve deeper into the lore of werewolves, we find that these mythical beings continue to evolve, reflecting the ever-changing perspectives and fears of society. While we may no longer believe in their existence, these tales serve as a reminder of the enduring power of folklore and myth. Now, let us turn our gaze to the enigmatic weaknesses of werewolves, a crucial aspect of their mystique that has endured through the ages. These vulnerabilities, intertwined with silver, lunar phases, and supernatural defenses, add depth and drama to the timeless tale of humanity's struggle with its inner beast. The most iconic weakness of werewolves is their vulnerability to silver. Silver bullets, weapons, or even mere contact with silver is said to harm or kill them. The origins of this belief are multifaceted with one theory linking it to ancient beliefs that silver, a pure metal, possessed protective properties against evil entities. Another theory suggests that it stems from the use of silver bullets in early firearms, as silver was more readily available for crafting ammunition. Another intriguing facet of werewolf lore is the deep-rooted association between werewolves and the phases of the moon. It's widely believed that transformations are most likely to occur during a full moon, adding a touch of cosmic inevitability to their affliction. This connection may have arisen from observations of increased wolf activity during moonlit nights, 
over time becoming an integral part of the werewolf myth. Wolfsbane, with its vibrant purple flowers and toxic properties, is often cited as a werewolf deterrent. Ingesting or applying wolfsbane can supposedly prevent transformation. The plant's association with werewolves likely arises from its toxic nature, historically used as both poison and a repellent against supernatural threats. Intriguingly, some stories suggest that werewolves cannot see their own reflections in mirrors, similar to the legends surrounding vampires. This weakness is not as common but occasionally appears in folklore. The idea that supernatural beings, including werewolves, cannot see their reflections in mirrors likely evolved from early superstitions and fears surrounding mirrors. Like many supernatural creatures, werewolves are often depicted as vulnerable to religious symbols, such as crosses, holy water, or consecrated objects. This belief reflects the idea that divine or holy elements possess the power to repel evil or malevolent forces. The use of religious symbols as a defense against supernatural creatures is a common motif in folklore and mythology. In some werewolf legends, crossing running water like a river or stream can hinder or break the transformation of a werewolf. The belief may have arisen from the notion that running water has purifying qualities, similar to the symbolism of religious elements. Additionally, certain stories suggest that specific spells, incantations, or rituals can control or banish werewolves. This idea draws from the deep roots of using magical rituals to manipulate or ward off supernatural creatures often rooted in ancient beliefs in the power of words and incantations. These weaknesses, while intriguing, are purely the stuff of myth and legend. They have been shaped by centuries of storytelling, cultural influences, and the human desire to explain the unknown. As we journey through the annals of werewolf lore, we see how these vulnerabilities have been crafted to add depth and drama to the timeless tale of humanity's struggle with its inner beast.